so we're back and today I'm going to talk about journaling so this is going to be part of my life balance series where I've spoken about meditation and me time I believe are my other two and I just I've picked up things here and there and I tried them for like maybe a week or two but journaling is something that has done me a world of good it is this journal I'm not sure if you can see it very clearly I'm going to try to read it it makes me laugh so let's go it says it's gonna be okay a journal to reassure myself when I'm overwhelmed by the creeping sense of impending disaster and the all-encompassing fears both specific and vague that colonize my mind body and soul all of which, from the completely far-fetched to the sometimes probable, do me no good to contemplate and in fact make me miserable. And even though optimism may be unself-aware and ill-placed, I know I'll be happier as a blind fool than as a clairvoyant apocalyptic. That's my journal. <laughs> so as crazy as it sounds, and it sounds crazy when I say it out loud, I, I love this journal. It allows me to um, write down my thoughts. And it's basically a journal where you should do it in the beginning of the day, I want to say. Like in the morning when you first wake up. You know how some people do gratitude journals. Some people do, um, I think it's called pages or something like that. And um, this journal basically asks you... I'm going to open up to if I could find a page I didn't use. So it basically says, like, what am I hanging hope on today? There's a space for you to write the date. And um, at the very bottom, it says prevailing outlook for today. It's a thumbs up. It's an A-OK. -okay, it's a thumbs down. And it's the fingers crossed, like, I hope. So this is what the bottom of the page looks like. And then you also get a quote every day. This one says, sometimes I lie awake at night and I ask, where have I gone wrong? Then the voice says to me, this is going to take more than one night. And that's from Charles M. Schultz. Stuff like that really does go through my mind. So I think that this journal is awesome. But um, I have been using it for about a month and a half now. Off and on. But I bought the journal in January of this year. I started using it because it was part one of my um, New Year's resolutions. I'm going to journal. I'm going to get my feelings on paper. I'm going to, like, um, I guess stop overthinking everything and stop keeping everything in. This is a nice way to, like, purge your thoughts also. But I don't really use it as a first thing in the morning journal. Like, sometimes I'll use it in the evening as a brain dump. Like, this is what happened today. Or, you won't believe this shit. Or in the morning, if I do have time and I do want to write, I, I use it in the morning. Like, it's just a journal. It says, you know, or not it says, it's designed for use in the morning because it's asking, it's saying, you know, like, this is my outlook for today. This is what I hope for today. So, obviously, it points to you use it when you wake up or before you start your day. And um, I basically use it as an anytime thing. I have used quite a bit of it so like I've said I've been using it for quite some time and it it works for me I'm not someone who <sighs> sticks to things very long I get bored very very easily but um, I'm also not someone who has um, I, I have trust issues so like there may be something going on with me and I'll know about it and you can be one of my closest friends and I wouldn't tell you and you just won't know unless I do so I, I I need an outlet you know what I mean like I need some place to put things down I am an avid if you need to write it down get a journal I've said it to my kids and I believe I think one of my sons have it if not both of them and the reason why I'm not too sure is because journals are the one thing that I say is absolutely off limits. I will not go in your journal. 
whether I want to be super duper snoopy or whether you want me to read it, I'm not going to journal. <laughs> like, I'm not. Because I don't want anyone to pick my journal up and start browsing through. You do, you will get your feelings hurt because I, I write everything in my journal. And um, I'm very well aware that now people who know me, if they come to my house or even those who already live in my house, will now be on the hunt for this in a way. It's kind of like human nature. It's not that, oh, I think you're writing something bad about me, but it'll be more like, I wonder what you're writing about. So, that's my journal. I do think journaling helps. It helps me get my thoughts and my, 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 my thoughts and my wanderings, I guess, down on paper to where I can also look back and reflect and it creates memories. Like, um, I have a time in here when I started swimming. That's another video. Yeah. It's, it, it turns into a book of memories, good and bad. So it's kind of like the good, the bad, and the ugly in my own handwriting. I don't know if I'm taking the right approach by keeping my journal um, private. I'm, I don't think like I need therapy or anything like that. So I don't think it's like, oh, my therapist is going to need it. Like type of a situation I can't really think on I can't talk on mental health or anything like that because I know absolutely nothing about that but I my journal helps me it's like my best friend that I can talk to and I do recommend it to any and everybody who feels like they have things to say that they can say but don't want to or they cannot say because it's not okay or politically correct or um, they're embarrassed or they feel like they'll be teased. My only thing is you need to know that your journal is safe. Like, I could easily be paranoid about the stuff that I put in here, but I really don't care. If you're stupid enough to go through my journal, then you are looking to get your feelings hurt. You know what I mean? Because you don't know if I'm writing about you, about a situation that involves you or like, you just don't fucking know it's not your business it's not your business so that's it for me in journals I just wanted to talk about it because I I didn't know how many people didn't know what to use a journal for you can use it for anything I could turn this into a never-ending to-do list and that's fine it's basically in my opinion a brain dump a place where you can literally just get it from here and put it in here you can go back and read it like I said before and it, there are even entries in here where while I'm reading it I'm like what the hell were you thinking like looking back on certain situations that I have written about in here makes me rethink how I felt at that time so like when you're in your feelings you just think stupid shit like I'll think you're looking at me funny because you remember something that happened with us like three years ago and maybe you still mad no you're looking at me because I was in your line of view you know um but it's it's a good reflective tool <laughs> like I said I have read certain entries and when I'm in the moment, I understand that's how I felt and that's how I saw everything that was going on. But about a month or two later, you go back and you read it and you're like, yeah, you were 110% wrong. Like, that is not what was supposed to be taken away from the situation. You ju you really just ran all the way left with that. But um, it's a learning experience. It, it helps me, so I'm hoping it'll help somebody else.